Let's talk about writing a Hello World program in Python on an Ubuntu machine. So first of all, I have an Ubuntu machine, and I'm going to write a program. So if I type in Python, you can go into the interpreter. Now, if you don't have Python as a keyword, you can either type in Python 3 or Python 2 and get it into it that way. So you can see that. I press Control D to exit out. So that will get it running. But you want to write a program. So the first thing you need to know is where is that program at? So I am going to use the word Python instead of Python 3 because I want to just say that it's going to be Python 3. And there is this thing called Python is Python 3. And if I install that, doing a sudo app install Python is Python then I can use the word Python instead of Python 3. So I install this package, first of all. And then from here on out, I can type in Python every time I want to use it. Now, the question is, where is it at? So I do which Python. And it says it's in user bin Python. If it was Python 3, it would be user bin Python 3. Either way, I want this part right here, the whole line. And that is the absolute location of the Python program. So do nano hello.py. And the first thing in a script is you have to tell it where the interpreter is at. And you do that with this line right here. So it's a hash bang user bin python or python3. And then you can type in your code. So I'm going to do a print hello world exclamation point. And then my entire program is done. I can exit out of here. Now it's not executable yet. If I do an ls minus l, I can see that hello.py is there, but it does not have the execute bit set. So that's the x right here. And so I can either do a chmod and 755, which is what I would recommend doing, hello.py. You can see you can see the listing right now it is now I added the execute bit, or I can just do something like a chmod a for all plus x hello dot py, and that will also set that same bit, and you can get right here it set, so you can run and execute it. If I do period slash hello dot py i can then run it and it will do my hello world so that is how you do a hello world command in python